fans flock to the promenade overlooking the Shat El Arab River. The mostly football fans have come to watch the Gulf Cup. Tourists, Iraqis and people from all over the Arabian Peninsula pack the city streets looking to grab a bargain and something to eat. Lots of people buy our products. I'm earning twice as much as before. The football tournament's brought in hundreds of thousands of Iraqis to the southern province as well as around 55,000 visitors from Gulf countries. The El Asha Souk is heaving with consumers. Especially on match nights. They come to shop in the morning before going to the game. My income has increased by 30, 40 percent. We don't have these pastries in Kuwait. They're strange but really good. We've bought five kilos. These spend-happy tourists are even giving niche local businesses a boost. The most fashionable souvenir to bring back from Basra are these small space heaters, a must-have item for visiting Kuwaitis. I've got one for my mother, one for my wife, one for my sister-in-law. Why? It's a trend on social media. Car boots are overflowing. Now local traders need to restock. We used to have 1,500 heaters in our warehouses. Now it's all bought by them. My economic situation went better. The first to feel the effects of a return to tourism in Iraq are service providers like this hotel, which is fully booked. Bookings are pouring in. Business has increased by 60 to 70 percent with the arrival of tourists from the Gulf. Iraqis hope that these two weeks are not just a temporary boon in the midst of the current economic crisis. Authorities hope, above all, that hosting the Gulf Cup would attract more investors from the Arabian Peninsula.